Greetings and salutations everyone, I'm Mac. Mac. This is Let's Play Persona 5 Strikers. In the last episode we got out of Alice's jail, we showed off Sophia to everyone. Now, uh, does Morgan hey. have anything to say? <laughs> There's a plant in your room, shouldn't it be outside? Alright, so we do have actually new things to look at here. Alright, Kutaba, check out Sophia when you get the chance. I don't wanna. Mm -hmm. So, where the two of you live? What an odd place. Mm -hmm. yeah, I guess there's not much to do but talk to Kutaba. What? <laughs> yeah, I knew it. I knew I'd be able to stir her up. Hmm, I see. All uh, right, autoplay. What? But how? I mean, with this over here, damn. So that's it. Futaba's really gotten into analyzing Sophia. So what do you think, Futaba? How Sophia's code look? While her programmer is a genius, no doubt about that. You can figure a person out by their code, and not just their skill level. Their habits, thought processes, even their personalities are there. This code is so advanced that even I can't read it and comprehend it right away. It'll take me weeks, even months, to actually grasp how Sophia works. Take you months? Ooh, that's a serious program. I mean, she's definitely an advanced AI. She's able to respond properly. It of course she'd be a complex program. The, the I Modern computers are supposedly more powerful than human brains, but we have no idea how to actually program a human brain, so I imagine that would actually take a very complicated setup of neural networking in order to try and create an AI like Sophia. Anyway, that's just my talk on AI. I don't understand. Do you mean I'm impressive? Yeah, you're impressive. You're some kind of super AI. If you ever went public, everyone would call Emma old hat. Old hat? When something was popular at one point but stopped being popular, it becomes old hat. It's a saying people don't really use anymore. Yeah, what, Sophia, why didn't you check out Urban Dictionary? Okay, I've got it. You are very knowledgeable, Futaba. Don't go teaching her too much weird stuff, okay? While we're at it, did you see anything about Sophia's past? Her programmer's name? Or a company's, maybe? Ah, <sighs> nothing yet. And most of those leave a signature of some sort in their work, too. You have to wonder if she means the same sort of signature she did with the whole Medjed system? Or if she means they should have left something in the comments or the made by section of the program? Probably the former. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna keep cracking at it from home. I'll let you know once I find anything new. Don't stay up too late, okay? Ah, uh, cut me some slack. I'm in vacay mode! Well, folks, time for me to make like a tree. She made... like a tree? Poor Sophia. So much slang. We said goodnight to Futaba, then headed to bed. Boy, was that a hell of a day. I never would have imagined something like this would happen. Uh, I just wanted to have fun, but all we can do is get ready. Yep, that's right. If we went into this half-cocked, we'd be disgraces of Phantom Thieves. Well, the metaverse reappearing may have been a surprise, but even that doesn't compare with Sophia. Did you call for me? We were just talking about how you're a huge mystery, says the talking cat. Uh, good point. <laughs> Wait, I don't have to take that from some mystery app. By the way, how does some top-of-the-line program lose all its memory, huh? Okay, Morgana, please don't be so aggressive to her. Even though I probably shouldn't because she's a mysterious waif and nothing good ever comes from those, I can't help it. Very empathetic. 
I mean, AI are supposed to be super smart, right? That is... Mean. Inarguably true. No, it's mean. Aw, don't get too down over it. I am humanity's companion. If I am not helpful, then I am useless. Don't be so hard on yourself. At least you remember that much, right? Right. I think that means it's important. But is being helpful all you'll do to become a good companion? Is that not how it works? Please explain. How else can one be a companion? Huh? Well, uh... <laughs> uh, that's, uh... I guess you just have to find a way to understand the human heart. Hearts? Uh, right. Then you'll be able to empathize with other people and be a good companion to them. I guess. Look up Baymax. That'll be a good place to start. The human heart. Look, just, just don't worry about it. All you need to do is join us and learn from all the kinds of people we meet. In exchange, you lend a hand to the Phantom Thieves. So I guess you could call this a deal? Okay, that is a decent deal. Especially since it should help me become a good companion for humanity. We're starting confidence in this game as well? Yep. So long as it's good with our leader. Let's do this together. Okay, we'll do this together. Then it's a deal. Glad to have you on board, Sophia. We've got plenty of scouting to do tomorrow. We should get some rest. Okay. Good night, Morgana. And she's keyed up to be an even more waifu bait than Chiaki Nanami was. We went back to our former hideout in Shibuya to check out the jail together. Great! Everyone's here! We're going to be infiltrating the jail. Are we ready? We've done this many a time. I can't imagine anyone being phased by this. <laughs> yeah, bro! We're very short on intel, so we need to be cautious. We'll just scout the general area for this trip. We use Emma to enter, right? Is there anything special we need to do? Um, no, we just opened the app and said the right keyword. Find the right name in Emma's search results, then enter the correct keyword on the friend request screen. Yeah, you got it, Futaba. Ah, leave it to the super hacker to explain this stuff. That had nothing to do with hacking. Even you should know how to explain it. All that's left is to choose our point of entry. There will be no enemies in the area from which we escaped yesterday. Upon reaching the relevant location, you will only need to speak the keyword. Seems all that's left is to trust Sophia and see where she leads us. Now let's do this thing! Alright, let's jump into the metaverse. I wonder how they're going to introduce all the other party members into this fight. Well, not fight, but into the warrior's gameplay, because we're eight minutes in and we haven't actually gotten to any gameplay. Well, did we make it? Your phantom thief attire. Yeah, you do. Oh, I've forgotten this feeling. The fusion of form and function. Truly magnificent. Look, it's Beauty Thief! My name is Beauty Thief! Let's not fool around here. I admit, though, these clothes do bring back some memories. We can reminisce later. Take a look at that view. So, this is... the jail? Just what is that building? This place is bonkers! Nothing escapes the atrocious color scheme of this place. It reminds... It actually, this is weird, but it actually reminds me of Fire Emblem Mirage Sessions a bit. Not sure why. It looks like that because of someone's cognition, correct? Right. Most likely Alice's. 
The distortion has to be exceptionally strong there for a reason. So you're saying that's the stronghold of the Queen ruling over this jail? Its appearance certainly fits the notion. The buildings around here still look pretty normal, though. Looks like that place over there has a limited range of distortion. The first time we came here, we entered by the crossing down there. That's where we saw a group of cop shadows taking stuff out of people's chests. Oh, you mean that jewel we saw? What the hell was up with that? That may have been a desire. Yo, Phantom Thieves! Yo! Ah, Sophia! Holy crap, an actual AI in human form! Keep your hands oh, to yourself. You're so cute, Sophia! Darn it, I'm always just a slight bit stop on the auto thing. Such a fascinating form you've taken. I can't stop staring at the beautifully curved lines. I've never seen an outfit like that! Can I try floofing it? Floofing? I think she wants to get a feel for the fabric of your clothes while hugging you, Sophia. Request denied. I am neither a child nor a pet. Ouch. Aww, no floofing. By the by, how does H work for an AI? Not right now. Sophia, tell us more about the desire you mentioned. That is the term used by shadows here. They say things such as, seize their desires, and we must offer these desires to the monarch. Based on their language and behavior, I speculate the aforementioned jewel was in fact a desire. It does make sense. When we saw Alice here, she mentioned desires too. So if Alice is the monarch, then she really is the ruler of this jail. But these desires, are they actually made up of the things people desire? Seizing desires of all things, what use would they have for those? Finding out what happened to the folks who got jumped could tell us something. Where could those victims be now? I don't see a place from here where they may be held. I don't know. Maybe they're being held somewhere else. Say, about those people you witnessed being attacked, are you sure they were humans? What do you mean? Couldn't they have been shadows or something? If there are humans getting captured and imprisoned in this jail right now, wouldn't there be a huge commotion in our world? Groups of people going missing out of the blue! Well, the thing is I don't pay attention to the news in real life and I don't think I pay attention to news in game either, so it could be happening and I just wouldn't know about it. But I guess Makoto has a point like usual. Now there's a point. I haven't heard a peep about that online. So, no one is actually disappearing from reality? I see. Shadows. What are shadows? A shadow's the parts of you suppressed within your subconscious. It's basically just your other self. Does that mean their main selves are alright? No. The shadow and the actual self are two sides of the same coin. So, if a desire is taken from someone's shadow, what happens to the person in reality? I gotta say, I'm getting a bad vibe from all this. Are they trying to influence reality by doing something to the shadows? Then how are we to act? This sounds like a crisis. Shouldn't we rescue the victims right away? No, that was just speculation. After all, we've only witnessed the cognitive world side of things. Until we find out how all this is affecting the real world, we can only know half of what's going on. Don't tell me you're going to take us straight back out. I'd like to hit something. I'd say the first thing we need to do is investigate Alice and her victims. Dang it! Plus, if we make the wrong move in the cognitive world, there's a chance the ruler could have a shutdown in the real world. Right. We need to get the story straight before we make any real moves or we'll just be doing damage. <laughs> let's look into Alice, let's look into her victims, let's look into catching some Zs. Apparently you can be really vacation-minded here. We want to look at the victims. We can try, but do you really think we can just stumble on them like Darn it, wrong option. Maybe if we look into people who have changed recently, we could get some leads? What say we get into that once we're out of here? Okay, let's get out of here. <sighs> What's up with Anne? Does she know Alice?
Or is it just the whole queen thing bringing back bad memories of Kamoshida Man? Well, we've confirmed the presence of the jail. Next, we look into Alice and any potential victims. And how do we do that? Look into what? The usual rumor mills. Looking for anything about Alice. Gossip about her being abusive or other messed up stuff. Good idea. Let's gather any intel that we can, both online and on the streets. Huh. I've got the web crawling covered. Hang on. Okay. I was just wondering if they were just focusing on Alice. But if we're ever to gain conclusive proof of any rumors, I believe we'll need direct access to her at some point. That's how we keep getting deadlines in the entirety of Persona 5, Yusuke. Please. Direct access to a pop star sounds awfully tough. Uh... Uh, about that. I may get to meet Alice tomorrow. What? For real? How? Hot convenience and a half. Well, I had asked the modeling agency's president if I could meet her sometime. I heard she'd be on a TV show filming nearby, so I asked if I could visit the set. I was hoping to learn from her by watching her in action. I gave up on it after making plans with you guys, but I might be able to get the ball rolling again in time. The timing's nothing short of kismet. Exactly. Even he thinks it is. It's way too convenient. Yeah! Way to go, Lady On! But I'm not making any promises about it. And there's no way we'd get to approach her either. Plus, our full group's just too big. The most I could even ask to bring is just one more person. So, probably me. I knew it. <laughs> I think I was just volunteered. Well, that settles that. We're counting on you. Give Alice shit when you meet her so you can get some evidence out of her. How exactly? I don't know. Try hitting on her. Mm. Idiot. Her manager will be right there too. She's not gonna pay us any attention anyway. I think I'll tag along with you. We'll be fine so long as no one sees me. And let's be fair, we're probably going to get him. We're probably going to get some sort of interaction with her, otherwise we wouldn't be going there. For today, let's focus on her potential victims. Because sometimes plots can be predictable. Not all the time, sometimes they can pull a fastball. But generally, you can consume enough media and you get a good feel for things. Let's go! Everyone's out gathering intel, let's not fall behind. Approach people and press A to speak or listen to them relating to the monarch. Intel can be gathered from sources other than people. Local shops may have valuable information. Begin investigation. Yeah, zero percent. It's the usual really messy place that you're getting the Persona 5. <laughs> Too many people can't do it. Wanna go home? Are you okay, Futaba? I thought you said school got you used to crowds. I underestimated this anime vacation edition of Fubuya. Shibuya. This swarm of parties is just too much for me. Uh... Even ignoring that, going up to people I don't know and eavesdropping them or pumping them for intel, way out my league. I'll take care of it. It's true. That's right. Leave this to us. We've got the online front locked down, Futaba. This should be helpful. I can lend you a hand, Futaba. We can lock down the online front. Ooh, thanks, Sophia. Time to join forces as a cyber sleuth tag team. Okay, I'll help you however you'd like. Nice recruiting, Futaba. We're counting on you too. Thanks for talking to me, guys. I'm feeling a little more comfortable out here now. Why don't you take this? For helping me out. <laughs> it aid you on your quest for intel. Salty Papaya. And Yusuke. Interesting. 
Alice is more popular than I had imagined. Wouldn't he be able to avoid speaking, hearing people speak of her, even if I wanted to? So, Alice in Wonderland. I admit it, it's an intriguing and visually striking space to work within as an artist. Alice, make me your slave? Hmm. Hmm? So hot out. You ever wonder why we have to wear jackets in this weather? Our company sold fashion, forcing us to wear business. Nice business men to wear suits. Well, you're kind of useless, aren't you? There doesn't seem to be a third eye like there was in. Uh, E5, so I guess you do have to do the footwork. The employees look busy as ever. I feel exhausted just watching them. Just like old times, I guess. Dude! I think I just found someone who was in the jail. Could you come to the alley behind the airsoft shop? People went crazy for her stuff, but this is someone else. I keep hearing stories about relationships going south. Some folks have been ending up hospitalized for all exhaustion. And Alice's name always comes up. Does she really have something to do with all of it? But how? And why? Oh yeah. I guess there's no point getting stressed over it now. Oh, I know. Are you hungry? No good ideas on an empty stomach, you know. I'm gonna grab a crepe and start the brainstorm. Yay! Already know which one I want. Extra chocolate and whipped cream! Ooh, maybe I'll have them add strawberries! Just hearing that burst my belt. Really? Then there's no reason to not to go all out at this point. Let's throw a triple scoop of vanilla and fill next berry toppings on there. Alice? Of course I've heard of her. Everyone in class has, especially the boys, they love her. My friend's boyfriend even wears it as far as breaking off the relationship. Or because he took a sudden interest in Alice. I know she's cute and all, but cute enough to leave somebody behind? Level headed girl gives 6%. Hey! She got the guy with the brown hair. Wasn't he at Alice's thing? Hmm? Hmm? Come on, man. I need the money, please! Again? I just lent you uh, money for all your Alice obsessed bullshit. I know, but there's a new Alice original coming out and I really need it. Like, I won't even be able to think or breathe if I don't get it. That guy with the brown hair. It's the same guy we saw before, right? Dude, why are you probably suddenly obsessed over some random ass idol in the first place? Are you serious though? You actually went to a loan shark? I can't believe you. <laughs> He's borrowing money from shady lenders only to get shady merchandise in return. That ain't normal. Did the other guys say he suddenly got obsessed? Could it be the influence of the metaverse? Oh man, that was a pretty big hit to the investigations. Mm. Temporary closed. That means EY's not here. I figured EY would know about Shibuya, but there's not much we can do if he's not here. Arrow. I peeked into his store in 705 a few moments ago, and all the customers have that invitation card. Her number of friends is probably increasing as we speak. So. Can't really ask around in there. Let's try somewhere else. Fooey. Hmm. Look how busy it is. I guess it would be when it's this hot outside. Welcome! Alice Hiragi? Ooh, do you mean the Alice Low clothing line? Why, yes, we do carry it! I'm so sorry we're all sold out. We only put them out 10 minutes ago, but the fans came in and swiped them all up. I'm so sorry you missed it. Really? Wow, gone in 10 minutes? Yes, it's possible, but those fans have some dedication to buy it out so fast. Let's be sure to remember this. 83%. These are very variable levels of investigation. So. Exercising is a good thing, but we need to focus on Alice for right now. Alice? Is this an interview or something? 
Sorry, but I hate our guts. Go ask someone else. Now this is the type of toys with people's lives. She only cares about fans lining her pockets. That? Huh. Welcome to Big Bang Burger. Open 24 hours a day because there's no day or night in space. I can take your order whenever. Will this be a to-go order? Uh, okay. Will this be a to-go order? Here you go. Have you decided to see you again? Right, that's probably enough shopping. karaoke, but what about the okay. What is this place? It looks so interesting. Sh so shiny. This arcade's usually empty. We probably won't get much information here. Can I help you find something? Check it out. Uh, I think I'm... Super recommended. Thanks for your business. That's what you're getting. Thanks for your business. Yeah. Back again, Kay. I'm Sure. Hi, welcome. I'm gonna go broke at this rate. Is that all for today? Thank you. Stop by again, okay? This is the problem of saying shops might have what you need. Okay, Makoto, what do you have to say? <laughs> so, Dragon Like a Yakuza is finally out? I just can't just go by myself though. Thinking about playing hooky. <gasps> How long have you been there? It, it's nothing like that. The poster just caught my eyes all. Anyway, I heard quite a few employees at this theatre were let go all of a sudden. Rumour is, it's all because they weren't fans of Alice. What's that all about? No one gets fired for such an absurd reason without something going on behind the scenes. I can't believe it. What? Could really get lost in here. Welcome. I recommend that. One. Thanks for waiting. You'd like to order? Here's your order. I recommend that one. Do not worry. Cure is fear. Here's your order. Come back anytime. Find anything useful? All right. Let's look at the theater. Hey. hey. Anything interesting playing right now? Not that we have time to watch a movie. Well, Makoto brought up the point, though, but I guess it doesn't get to count. Okay, I talked with you. Does Anne have something to say? See you later! Once I've had my brain food, I'll get back to gathering intel and putting it all together. Stay hydrated, okay? It's a hot one. Ah, uh, darn. I was hoping that... Oh, hello. Alice, you're so freaking adorable. No one could ever compare to you. I'll do anything for you. Buy fancy jewelry. Take you over out to the finest restaurants. I'd sign all my life over to you if I could. Hmm? This guy's completely lost it. It's like he can't even see us. I've heard of being crazy for someone, but this is way too far. Investigation complete. Alright, let's chime in on the phone. How's the information search going? Why don't we meet up and gather what we've sh share what we've gathered so far? What are you gonna do? Koto's got a point. Should we gather everyone up? I'm... I'm going to look around for other things I might have missed, but... The episode's ending here. We're hitting the 30 minute mark. Alright then. Sure. It's your call. Once you're done, we should get everyone together at Shibuya Station, connecting the bridge, and then go over what we've learned. Until next time, guys. Take care. I'll see you all around. Hopefully next time we get to actually do something. <laughs>